Hey, hi again. <laughs> Once again, Richard Blackstone with uh, today's Create One Love Note. And uh, you know how I uh, started this logo? It's really cool. Uh, you know, the three core um, foundational principles that I live by every day and that I teach are that uh, love is who we are. You know, at the core of our being, love is who we are. And actually, love is the glue that holds the universe together. Uh, we're all one, you know, at the higher levels of our consciousness. We're all one. And then the third one, the one I really like, <laughs> is that we're all here to create the life of our intentions and desires. And so that's how I kind of came up with my logo. You know, I just kind of flipped them around and, and uh, took the create one love and uh, made it my logo. And, and it worked out really well. So uh, anyway, <laughs> just to kind of let you know that. But today I'm going to give you a love note, then we're going to talk about it for a minute. So today's love note is, what do you think when you hear somebody say, I can't do it? Or even worse, when they say, you can't do it. You know, when somebody says that they can't do something, I hear their words and I just have to tell myself that one of the reasons that they don't think they can do something is because they think thoughts and speak words that basically keep them from doing something. I know they can do it, but they don't know because they believe that they can't, and that belief becomes their reality. Now, I not only believe, but I know that I can be, do, and have whatever I desire because I have the same creative powers as the source from which we all came. It's all in the beliefs and the knowings. Believe and know. <laughs> now that's very profound actually um, you know here's what happens uh, in this game called life on planet earth we were born into our environment and then uh, from the time that we were um, born we, we, we began a conditioning process and that conditioning process uh, caused us to form certain belief systems and typically those belief systems are formed around our society and basically what our mothers and fathers believe that's our first core belief system and so we are strongly conditioned to believe that um, those kind of beliefs a and unless you consciously change those beliefs or, or move to a, an awareness where you change those beliefs uh, those beliefs stick with you your whole life but you know what they're just beliefs and and they are changeable I mean, we've changed beliefs our whole lives you know we don't believe the same things now that we did when we were four or five years old so beliefs are malleable they're changeable and you can change them uh, anytime you want however you often have a hard time doing that unless you have a higher vision that takes you beyond the belief and to me that's the easiest way to change a belief is to create a vision that is something you really desire even though you believe you can't have it and then keep moving towards that vision and eventually that belief will melt away you don't have to do anything about it. in fact the less you think about the, the limiting belief the better off you are just keep going towards the vision pretty soon that belief just isn't even in your um, your consciousness and and it allows you to create the thing that you didn't think you could have before it's pretty cool and it's very doable. I know I do it all the time. And so um, I, this is a powerful one. Uh, uh, I hope you use it, take it to heart, think about it a bit. And um, you know, if you want some more help on that, go to my website, uh, MasterYourLifeVideos.com. Uh, lots of free videos there about consciously creating your life, about understanding your true self. And it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Believe me, this game is so much more fun when you know how to create consciously. It is, it's, it's playing the game at the highest levels. So go out, have a great day, and until I see you on the next one, as always, live in love.